Viral Science, the home of creativity. Hey friends, welcome back to another video. Today I will show you how to make a Wi-Fi range extender or you can also say a repeater with ESP8266 module. Usually the available range extenders cost around more than $15 but we'll make with a $4 ESP8266 board. So how this works? Assume that this is a house and a router is connected to one corner of the house. The signals do not reach to the other corner of this house. So we use a Wi-Fi extender. The Wi-Fi extender takes the signal from the Wi-Fi and creates its own signal. So the whole house gets the new signal from Wi-Fi extender. So let's get started making it. For this you can use any of these ESP8266 modules. You can purchase this from FlyRobo, links are in the description down below. Now connect this ESP module with a data cable to your computer. So first open this link which is in the description down below. We will download this flash tool. Now go to the github link which is also in the description down below. Special thanks to Martin who is the creator of this project. We will go to firmware and then we will download these two files 0x0000 0x02000 dot bin files. Now these are the downloaded files. Open the flash tool and select developers mode. Select ESP8266 download. Now we'll browse our files which we downloaded and we'll click on open. We'll add both the files and we'll write the same name which is on the file that is 0x000000 and 0x02000 also don't forget to click on the check boxes over here do all the selection as I have now select the com port and baud rate and click on start Now it has finished flashing. Now remove the cable from your USB board and again connect it back. Now go to Wi-Fi settings and here you will find a new Wi-Fi that is my AP. Click on connect. After you are connected to this Wi-Fi, open your browser and type the IP address 192.168.4.1. Now in the NTA settings, enter the Wi-Fi name of your home network. In my case, the name is hacked. So I will type hacked and the password of my Wi-Fi network. Now click on connect. In few seconds, you will lose your connection. Now go to Wi-Fi settings and click on connect my AP. After connecting it, refresh your page. Now you can see it is connected to your home network. Now go to AP settings and enter the SSID of your repeater. You can type anything you want. Set your password. Set your security level. The password must be of minimum 8 characters. Now click on set. In few seconds you will again get disconnected and now your repeater is ready. Now when you go to Wi-Fi settings you will find a Wi-Fi with the name of your repeater. Click on connect and enter the same password. Click on connect and that's it you are done.
Now we'll test our Wi-Fi. So now we'll do a speed test. This is my home Wi-Fi network. And now we will test the repeater. You can see that there is a little difference between their speeds. Right now I am testing it on my Android TV. I am connected to my home Wi-Fi network that is hacked. My home Wi-Fi router and this TV are placed on different rooms. My TV gets very weak signal from my Wi-Fi router. It can do the browsing job but cannot play the video. Now I will connect my ESP module which is acting as a repeater of my router. You can power this ESP module with your charging adapter or with a power bank. So now my TV is connected to repeater. And you can see that it plays the video very quickly as compared to my Wi-Fi router. You can make this repeater for yourself at very low cost. If you like this video then hit the thumbs up button below and subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Do subscribe and press bell icon to get instant notification for new video.